a major obstacle for conservancies in the world for a long time. Our reporter Josh Onsare was at the Lewa Wildlife Conservancy to understand the role of communities in conservation and how it has helped the conservancy in dealing with human wildlife conflict. Human wildlife conflict is a common thing in areas where communities live next to national game reserves and national parks. Wildlife has been killed, people and livestock killed, and crops destroyed by wildlife. This is Lewa Wildlife Conservancy bordering three counties, namely Laikipia, Meru, and Isiolo. It is estimated to be 94,000 acres with community conservancies. In 1995, that is when the Lewa Wildlife Conservancy was being established. And then they now um, opened the small sanctuary to the bigger area of Lewa Wildlife Conservancy, which is 62,000 acres, including Garendari Forest, which is a government property that is about 15,000 acres. And um, uh, recently, about five years ago uh, to six years ago, we joined up with Borana uh, Conservancy on the western part of Lewa. That's bring another that 1,000 acres. So as we speak, we are talking of 93,000 acres, including Lewa and Borana landscape. Lewa Wildlife Conservancy has created a conducive environment for the communities surrounding it. John Pameri, who is a son of the community around Lewa, tells us that he has worked at Lewa for 25 years and the community in the conservancy has been pivotal in reducing human wildlife conflict. Basically, anywhere that you have a park or a conservancy, uh, we have communities around those uh, areas. And those communities, they are key, the key important team to protect this wildlife. Because when you talk of uh, pushing, where you have poachers coming through the community, so you need to have your team, which is community, really to support you in terms of communication, in terms of information, uh, gathering, so uh, communities they are really playing a key, key role in terms of conservation. Being able to work with the communities in the neighborhood so that they can establish what we call community-based conservancies. So we have got quite a number of conservancies that uh, that surround us. We've been working with uh, the Kenya Wildlife Service and the, the Northern Regions Trust so that the communities can set aside their land so that they can increase value of that piece of land that they are having through taking care of wildlife and the natural resources that, that they have. In this conservancy, the security teams are well equipped and do not work alone. John Pameri, who is the head of security, says it has not been easy. Sometimes rangers are bribed to get rhino tasks for the poachers. 2013, 2012, we had a challenge where we lost a couple of rhinos um, uh, through the uh, poaching. And uh, those rhinos, there are people who have been involved uh, within the system uh, in terms of those pushing. You know, some of the rangers being compromised, being paid a lot of money, uh, really to give information in terms of where the rhinos are, uh, where the armed teams are. So we had a challenge on that time. And then we sit down and we structure our security system where we have um, the, our armed teams uh, separately using different radio uh, channels. We have general security using different channels so that we can able really to manage all the teams on the ground. And then since that time, uh, we managed really to stop uh, that uh, incidences of pushing all through to last year, where we lost uh, another two rhinos, white rhinos. And last year, um, we lost just right on the boundary, uh, on the northern boundary of Lewa, uh, where we believe on that particular area, it is a gap, which there has been a lot of threat on that gap. Thanks to technology, Purity Wamoyo, who is the operations officer at Lewa narrates how technology has improved monitoring of rangers and wildlife in the conservancy. Yeah, if a ranger has got a problem, you know, most of the problem that we have in the field is 
uh, being charged by a buffalo, maybe an elephant or even a lion being after him. So because those uh, radios, they are carrying their GPS enabled, there's a certain button that we have shown them. If a radio is in that situation, you just have to press that radio. After pressing that radio, it will show here on the screen that he's in emergency status. What the radio will do, it will change. Maybe that uh, radio was in blue color, it will auto automatically change to red and start blinking. So I'll know that he needs my help. So there's a lot that really we are now um, trying to do in terms of uh, uh, technology. And uh, we have a place we call JOC, uh, Joint uh, Operation Command Center, whereby all this communication come back to and all the data has been collected. You can able really to get all these maps of uh, each patrol. The idea of conservation is no longer the role of conservancies. The communities in Lewa have started to learn the conservation concept. We have uh, community conservancies which has been established uh, through the idea of conservation started from Lewa. And uh, in 1995, that is when the Lingwesi Community Conservancy, which is uh, neighboring us on the northern boundary, uh, was being established. And then uh, there was another one called Namnyak, uh, a bit far from about 100 uh, kilometers from here. Uh, those two community concerns becoming the first community concerns to be established in 1995 and they're becoming a learning point for all other community areas to learn about conservation. So instead of now people really coming to Lewa and looking, Lewa, they start now going to talk to the elders on those community conservancy and uh, ask any question they want in terms of the benefit, what is the benefit they are getting. In lowering the chances of human wildlife conflict, partners, together with Lewa Conservancy, have erected fences to contain the wildlife and at the same time enable the community to grow food crops. We have really fenced all around Lewa uh, compared to other community conservancy are not being fenced. Is that because we have rhinos here and we don't want rhinos really to go out. The other thing is that to, support, uh, to stop the human wildlife conflict uh, happening, you know, wildlife getting out and going to the communities. So the fence is there to stop human wildlife conflict, to keep wildlife on this side and to keep the communities happy on the other side. Also, some parts in the conservancy have been excluded by the fence to enable browsers get fresh and nutritious grass. We do establish what we call exclusion zones. Two strands of, of, of wires um, positioned seven to eight feet high to keep away the, we call them the mega herbivores, the giraffes and the elephants. So those kind of uh, two species are kept off that kind of area so that it can be given time to regenerate. Because that kind of an exclusion zone is, is fully fenced uh, with um, electrified wires or the other small game, including buffaloes and zebras, um, rhinos they can go under. But giraffes and elephants, you keep them off. Then you give that kind of an area about five to ten years. And most of the times it does recover. Tena giraffe ata kulala wa zilala. Mumeona imewe kwa net. Kutoka chini, mpaka juu. Iyo tunaita predator proof. Iyo inazuia mpaka wale wanyama wandogo uvuka kuenda pande ya community. Ata wale uwa wanachimba kwa sababu inet imechindua chini. Unaona? Sasa iyo inazuia wanyama wote. Unakuja kwa ingine muliona pengine chini kidogo ikona waya peke yake. Iyo tunaita torof strand. Torof strand, iyo nae inazuia tu wanyama. Pia wanyama wote, lakini hawa wanyama wadogo wadogo, US izuia. Kwa sababu kuna spaces kutoka chini paka juu. Ukikuja kwa hii, kuna ingine nae kwa barabara kama muna toka. Kwenda ulami. Mumekuta ingine inaito short fence. Iyo pia nae inazuia wanyama wote. Ispokuwa wale wanaenda na chini. Lakini kama swara, labda swara akiwa amefukuzwa ndi anezaruka. Kwa sababu pia imefungwa outriggers, zimeangalia pandei na pandei. Imeya kwa bata fura hivi. Kwa hivyo mnyama akitoka pandei ya nakuta mezuidio, akitoka pandei ya nakuta mezuidio. Kwa sababu, tuseme, mimi kama we, mimi ndio huwa nafuata hila ini, najua moto yangu inasoma nini. Kwa hivyo nikioni inasoma kidogo, nitajua moto yangu yuko na shida. Na kama yuko na, na, na short, mpaka nifuate. Na ezaenda nikute si short, ni kukato imekato na ndovu. Sabu, pengine ndovu walikuwa meingilia mahali fulani. Hii itanisaidia kufuata mpaka nijua mahali short iko, kwa sababu hii moto itaenda ikipungua, mpaka mahali short iko. 
Aya, kama ni kukato imekatwa, nitakuwa na hiki kifupa. Hii inaitwa strain ama chain kasa. Nitaenda nishikanisha ile waya, hii inanisaidia kwa kwa kushikanisha waya. Tuseme sasa hii ndio ilikuwa imekatwa hapa na nataka kuweka joint hapo. Kwa hivyo nita, nitaweka chain yangu na nikiweka chain yangu nitaanza kukasa waya yangu. Unaona? Alafu ikikuja ni ikifika ile kiwango mimi nataka nitaweka kiraka. The government has accorded the conservancy police officers working as reservist police to respond when the community needs security in times of a threat. I can put it as a private sector that um, the Kenya government, they have really realized that we are doing a great job here and uh, they give us a status of national police reservist whereby we have uh, more, uh, more study, uh, uh, st um, National Police Reservist, base here, employed by Lewa. The thing only government they have really done is the status they have given and the firearms. So those firearms, they are all not only for protecting wildlife within Lewa, it's even protecting the properties of the communities outside the fence. So they can be called by the, the communities to respond on some of the issues outside. Through the conservation efforts, Lewa Wildlife Conservancy has employed 80% of employees from the community, hence winning the trust from them in protecting the wildlife. We are talking of 80% of our employees, which we are talking of 300 staff, permanent staff, without including the casuals that come day and day um, for, for, for a day work in terms of uh, conservation. And uh, it's something that I can really say uh, in the world that really we need really to uh, get uh, conservation across the continent. Um, so at least people to understand about conservation. It is a benefit to the community. These communities they are living with wildlife and this is our goal. You know, when the other countries are talking of the real goal, as we are talking of wildlife, which are our goal for this part of the, the world. Uh, yeah, yeah. The erection of the fence, deployment of the ranges, and the conservation efforts in the community have remained the key in reducing human wildlife conflict. Josh Onsare, TV47, Lewa Wildlife Conservancy, Meru County.